Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and it is D-Day for the Bulls because they host Leinster this weekend in what is yet to be an absolute blockbuster semi-final. In Jake White's words, one of the biggest games in the Bulls franchise history and basically it's basically the biggest game that they've played since the likes of a 2010 sort of Super Rugby final and the likes of that and, and semi-finals against you know, Crusade and stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting game because I think it's... Uh, a Leinster side, which is absolutely stacked. We know this. Jake White said it in his press conference. Uh, Leo kind of sort of tried to play it down in terms of, uh, you know, the expectations. But we're talking about an almost all-island international side. We're talking about a side that boasts thousands, almost, of, of test caps. Literally, whatever thousands of test caps. If you look across that that squad, um, and almost over, well, you know, two, almost over sort of, you know, 1,500 or 2,000 caps. You know, if you have to look at the amount of of, 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 of caps they've got across the squad, it's, it's ridiculous. And uh, the Bulls, on the other hand, uh, you know, they've got two current sort of Springboks, really. Uh, a couple of future Springboks, probably. But, uh, and, and they are a couple of, of cap players across the squad. But it's just chalk and cheese, really, in terms of the resources. However, excuses have the uses, but not this weekend. And if the Bulls are to progress to a URC final and try and win the tournament, they're going to have to overcome the large, should we accept, the sort of tournament favourites. And uh, I tell you what, it's not a bad Bulls side. They're missing a couple of key players. But interesting to see how things go. Before we look at the sides, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the Bulls, and some big news for them is that they do welcome current and World Cup uh, winner, um, Springbok Marco van Staden, who does start after that sort of injury ruled him out of last weekend. So if we look at the front row, it is the uh, the tried and tested Geos Dinekamp, Johan Kobola and Volko Lowe. He's been absolutely tremendous this past season. Um, he's going to be a massive, we're uh, going to have a massive role in this game tomorrow. Ruan for Mark, Ruan look here in that second row. And then uh, Ruan, um, sorry, Mark for Stardin, Albert Lowe and Cameron Honeycomb make up the back three. It doesn't get much stronger in terms of that that pack, to be perfectly honest. You know, a Moscow could see might be able to come in um, whether he'd start in front of a Cameron Honeycomb. You know, who knows? Um, it's It doesn't get much stronger, though, to be honest. That is probably their best pack that they can put out. Uh, it's more sort of the injuries in the back line which sort of leave a bit of a hole. In Bruce Lapierre has been playing fantastic rugby. He's next to Jan Hursen, but the injuries to Devin, sorry, to Kurt Lawrence, rather, and Kenan Moody does mean that uh, they've got uh, the wings that uh, have not played there the entire season. Uh, Devin Williams has been fantastic, um, was really, really good at 15, and Sergio Peterson at 14 as well. Jake White clearly uh, um, uh, identifying that kicking threat that Leinster do bring and um, putting in players who have played at 15, especially the likes of Devin Williams, uh, who are going to get under the high ball. The centers will be Harrod Force, the next of David Creel, who has been so good this past season. They've really missed him on Hans recently. Um, but uh, Harold Forster, uh, you know, is a very experienced campaigner. You know, he's played in, in games like this. He's played in uh, two rugby finals, for example, for the Lions. So uh, he will uh, know exactly what to do. And David Creel, uh, he was even picked up in the Irish media, uh, um, you know, as a, as a player who's really knocking on the Supreme Box door. And then obviously, when it comes to experience, talking about an almost centurion um, an international level in Villeneuve. He's going to be absolutely massive for the Bulls this weekend. Off the bench, it will be Aka van der Merwe, Sapir Matanzam and Francois Klopper in the front row. They'll be backed up by Renard Ludwig, the youngster, and his own card, the experience. And uh, then a couple of exciting players, Keegan Yannis, Chris Smith, and Cornell Smith, who's not had uh, a lot of opportunities, if any, really, this past season. Um, a very exciting player. He's 26 years old, playing most of his rugby uh, for the Stormers before making that move to the Bulls, and uh, I think if we look at this past season, I, I don't even know if he's had you know more than sort of um, you know 20 minutes really, but uh, gets a massive opportunity this this week uh, weekend, and uh, what an opportunity is for him to try and show his uh, class and his ability. This is the issue for the Bulls, isn't it? Is is a ridiculously good lens to side. Let's go through it, shall we? It is the All Ireland front row of Andrew Porter, Dan Shen, and Tyke Furlong. If Ireland were playing a World Cup final tomorrow, that would be their front row. Joe McCarthy has been a fantastic addition to the Ireland squad. Partners uh, James Ryan, who does captain the side. You've got Ryan Beard, Josh Bernafier, and Ken Doris in that back row. So test cap on test cap on test cap. We'll play of the year in Josh Bernafier, uh, one of the best players in the world, and Dan Sheehan. Ty Furlong's been a you know a constant there. Uh, if you don't look at that back line, it, it doesn't get much better for the Bulls. Uh, Jamison Gibson Park next to Ross Byrne, James Lowe, Jordan Lama, and uh, Jimmy O'Brien um, at the back three. Uh, Jordan Long has actually been known in the U.S. team of the season, so it shows you sort of the impact he's had. And then we're talking about a British and Irish Lions centre pairing in Robbie Henshaw, Gary Ringrose, who is fit and does start for Leinster. Off the bench, uh, Ken, uh, sorry, goes Ronan Kelleher, Ken Healy, Michael Alatoro, Ross Maloney, uh, Jack Conan, McGrath, Frawley, and Osborne are the deputies there. And you look at that inside, and I think there's about two players who I don't think have officially got a test cap yet. Um, it's it's mental. It really is. You know, you've got a... a I mean, Jamison Gibson Park, for me, one of the best players in world rugby at the moment. Um, 
J- J- Gary Ringrose, Robbie Henshaw, two phenomenal centers. You've got a, a world-class front row. You've got an incredible back row. And uh, it doesn't get any easier in terms of the bench with the likes of Frawley, for example. Uh, Maloney, Jack Conan, you know, started all three tests in the British and Irish Lions series against the Springboks. So it's mission impossible for uh, the Bulls. In terms of my predictions for Bulls versus Leinster, I think that the Bulls have to score first and have to start really well. That's because that's what Leinster do. Leinster try and start, put 20 points above you, uh, on you in the first sort of 20 minutes, and then they say, right, now try and catch up, and then they'll just exploit your mistakes and they'll just keep going. That's how they play. So in order to beat Leinster, you've got to take them deep. You have to make sure that you're in the game at all times. As soon as the game gets away from you, they will capitalize and they'll take you out of the game completely. It is all the odds stacked up against the Bulls. They'll need a bit of a small miracle. Um, but for Leinster, you know, maybe a bit of demons for, for not having won a token in the last three years. That might play a part. Um, I expect this to be relatively comfortable for Leinster. But I'm really hoping to see the Bulls try and prove me and a lot of people wrong. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.